In this video, we are going to develop the UI for the login component. Now, if you recollect from the application demo, the login view is very similar to the registration view. So to save us some time, let's copy the HTML from the registration component and make the necessary changes. So from register.component.html, copy all the HTML, open login.component.html and paste it. All right, first I'm gonna change the heading to login from register. Next, change the property that we bind to. So instead of register user data, we are going to have login user data. So login user data dot email, login user data dot password. Next, instead of a register button, we are going to have a login button. I'm also going to change the color from button primary to button success and change the on click handler to login user from register user. All right, finally, let's also implement the login user method to log to the console the details entered by the user. So open the TypeScript file, login.component.ts. First, let's create a new property. This is going to be login user data, initialized with an empty object. And then we define the method. So this is going to be login user in the body console.log this dot login user data and that pretty much is our login UI so let's save this and take a look at the browser to see if it's good I'm going to navigate to the login component and you can see that we have the login form with an email and a password and the login button everything looks good so open the console fill in an email address and a password ASD ASD and click on login you should see the details in the console. So we have an email and a password which comprises the login user data object. All right, now that the UI is done, the next step is to create a login service that calls the backend API.